All right, guys. Uh, last few that I'll just go over really quick that I'm in is TQQQQ. Uh, I did enter this in at the end of the day because I think we're going to bounce here. Uh, as you see, this was an old zone that we broke above, came back down. Now we're in this zone. Um, we need to break back above this to show a higher low. Um, right now, it just looks like higher, higher, and we need to break above this because I was I was kind of hoping it would bounce right here, but it didn't. It came all the way back down to here. Um, so if the market's strong, it should break out of this and go right back up, guys. Um, if not, then SQQ would be the play. But as you see, we kind of just ended, ended up right in the middle of here, so we need to break above this level here. I am technically in. I am in it right now. Um, if it does pull back um, to the 50, if it does make a newer low, which would be down to here, um, the 51 mark, I would definitely be getting out. Um, but right now I'm in it at 52.50. Right here I entered here. Yeah, you know, 52. I guess, yes, 52.60 was probably where I entered because I entered in right here and then it pulled back a little bit more and then it came back up. Um, but if the market's strong, it should do that. Just like if you were to look at SPY right now or ES, doesn't matter. Uh, ES is the futures. That's what silver trades. But uh, if you look at SPY right now, we're still in the staircase upward pattern. So right now, if we were to look at my zones here, guys, that's a pretty strong one right over here. Right over in this range. Oops, what the heck. So if we were to make an actual zone, because this is, like I said, how I trade. That way, I just am a lot more consistent like this. You're not eager. You don't have to check the charts every five seconds. So right there is going to be a zone. Oh, look at that bounce right there. <laughs> old uh, old resistance, new support. It's got to it's got to stay above the zone here. Uh, the next thing it's going to definitely test is up here as well. And it tested that last time too, just from this mark here. Once it breaks that level up there, we should be headed to this this range up here. So should be the next one. So just take it, keep an eye out on that. Um, but yeah, guys, if you have any other questions, please let me know. Like I said, the only other stock that I'm really looking at is LUV because it's been making these higher highs. And we still have that gap to fill over here to this level mark right here. And uh, as of right now, we kind of just trailed kind of slowly bled out there. But looking at it closer up, there still is potential for this to recover. So as long as it stays, look at that. Look at how many times it touched there. Bam. Right to that level there. As long as we stay above this level here, should be good. So kind of just touch there. As you see, that's where these candles close, and that's where that uh, it all ended. So as long as we bounce in this area here, the 5180 would be a nice little buy zone. $52 flat to 5180, and then bounce right back up. But anyways, dudes, I hope that was helpful. And uh, like I said, if you have any questions, always let me know. All right, peace out, guys. Thanks.